Tonight, a West County woman is embroiled in a fight, not just for her beloved pet monkeys, but she says for her long term mental well being. Her neighbors see it differently. They say the monkeys are a threat to their safety. Good evening. I'm Courtney Bryant. Steve Savard is off. All of this has neighbor against neighbor and a city left in a difficult spot. News Force Kim St. Ange leads us off tonight with what's become the talk of Creep Corps. Kim. Right, so this woman says she has trained monkeys for 20 years and that they've always lived with her, even at her current Creep Corps home. She says it wasn't until about a month ago, after she'd already moved there, that a neighbor noticed one of her monkeys outside and called the city. She's a bonnet macaque and she's eight. Kalyana is one of three monkeys living in Texan McBride T. Hand's Creep Corps home. You okay? Got something in your eye? No? All are registered as emotional support animals to help with her PTSD. It's a wild animal. They belong in zoos, you know, or in, or in their natural habitat. Jim Henschel lives next door. His neighbors are so upset about the monkeys, worried they might attack, they brought it up at this week's city council meeting, where Texan defended her animals. They are not dangerous animals. They are trained. Uh, they assist me. I have uh, PTSD because of something that happened to me, a uh, very bad thing that happened to me a long time ago. According to the city of Creve Coeur, non-human primates are considered inherently dangerous animals, along with lions, alligators, and pythons. So none are allowed in residential areas. That's why the city cited Texan. According to this note, Texan's doctor says, I have prescribed Miss McBride Tehan to keep one or more primates to serve as emotional support animals. It is my professional opinion that the presence of these animals is a necessary treatment for the mental health of Miss McBride Tehan. I believe in the rule of law. You know, if they're not supposed to, if they're considered a dangerous animal and can carry something as nasty as hepatitis. They shouldn't be here. Texan says her monkeys would never hurt anyone and bring her so much comfort. Have a kiss. Texan has a court hearing in November, and that's where a judge will decide what will happen to her monkeys. Courtney. All right. Thank you, Kim.